What's up everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold. Today we will be fighting against the legendary man of strength himself, Elite Force Bruno. Yep, he's got the six fighting type Pokemon there, he's just sitting on his ass. He doesn't give, he doesn't care. He's, he's just like, yeah, you do whatever, I'm just gonna sit here and tell my Pokemon to punch. That's pretty much it. Well, other than the fake out, which I should have seen coming because all hit on top, no fake out. It's it's kind of a requirement to be a Hitmontop. I mean, if you want to be a Hitmontop, bro, you gotta have Fake Out. If you don't have Fake Out, then turn into a Hitmonlee and get the hell out. Just the door's right over there. Just, just leave. And wow. Okay. Um. Staraptor didn't take out one Pokemon, but it got knocked out thanks to Counter. Thank you very much. And now he's gonna full restore. Okay, well, I can see where this battle is going already. I'll at least Thunder Wave it, just, you know, for giggles. And then I will go ahead and heal up Staraptor, and we will try this again. Again. You know, but I'll, I'll get an attack in on it so that when Staraptor comes out, he can just one-shot it and be like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't know you were so weak. Oh, never mind. Okay, one discharge took it out, and now we got, um, what did it say? Hitmonlee coming? Yeah, Hitmonlee. And there's the Hitmonlee. How does Hitmonlee eat? It has no mouth. It has no nose either. It's just eyeballs and a flat surface. It's kind of weird. D does it breathe? I, how how does it breathe? Some some Pokemon designs are just kind of weird. I mean, it makes you wonder. Does this thing drink? Does it eat? Does it breathe? I don't know, but one fly took it out, and now we've got Hariyama coming in. Probably one of the bulkiest looking Pokemon ever. I mean, you look at it, you can tell it's designed on a sumo wrestler, and it's got hands that look like you could put them together and make a wall. So, there's... oh jeez, okay, um... And it's using the sub punch. Okay. Okay, that that's cool. That's cool. Star Raptor's taken out for the second time this episode. Okay. Um, Blaze Ken, you get in here. And you go ahead and you brave bird that thing. You just get in here and go whoop, 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 bang and then then it's gone. Brave Bird took it out. Hari almost like no and then it goes out. And Blaziken gets points and then gets a speed boost. And now here comes a Lucario. Um, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to go ahead and attack it. Because, you know, it's steel typing makes it weak to fire. And fighting. And ground. And all this other stuff. So, that's it. Lucario's down already. Didn't even get to do anything. Haha, -ha, Lucario. And now here comes a Hitmonchan. It's probably got the elemental punches, but... That's not going to do it any good, because I'm just going to Brave Bird it, and it's going to go down. Yeah, him on Chan, I'm, I'm sorry, I I took you down way too fast. It's It does seem like I might be a little over-leveled in this, but, you know, it's, it's that's just how it goes. It's just how it goes, you gotta, you gotta deal with it. Now look, there's my champ, and I'm just going to Brave Bird it, and hopefully that'll knock it out, and then Bruno will be done, and we can move on to the Agatha wannabe. And my champ is down. Just, oh, well, Blaziken knocked itself out too, so. No experience points there, but Bruno's been taken down. We get lots of money for beating him, and then he's like, oh, my, I've been dishonored. Move on without talking to me. Do not look at my face. I must go do 10,000 push-ups to make up for this. Followed by a light snack, and then a quick dip in the hot tub. And then I will go back and do another thousand push-ups. Just because I failed everybody. Oh, we're going to take the Kadabra, and we're going to go to um, Karen? Yeah, it's, it's Karen. Yeah, Karen. And we're going to save here. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. See y'all.